They say to get to know someone, you need to walk a mile in their shoes. Sometimes you have to go considerably further. Altama is footwear that understands this premise because our shoes have gone the extra mile. Worn by the best and the bravest, from Navy SEALs and Army Rangers to Air Force combat pilots, Altama knows what it takes when you're called to duty. This video series is designed to tell the everyday stories of people who are doing extraordinary things. From active military members and veterans to amateur and pro athletes, they're all champions. This is a look into their stories. Hi everybody, I'm Jay Glazer, and this is what it's like to be in their shoes. Hi everybody, I'm Jay Glazer, and welcome to another edition of In Their Shoes, where thanks to Altama, we highlight some champions in life from the military and from sports. Today, I have my gangster with me, <laughs> Cammy Craig, the one and only Cammy Craig, three-time Olympian. How many uh, medals do you have? Two gold medals and one silver medal. There you go. Look, I'm fine in the cage, but I'm not yes. getting in water with you with a ball and let you shove my head underwater. No. No chance. Yeah. So, I mean, the training is pretty intense. So a water polo game lasts about an hour, and we train six and a half hours a day, six days a week. Oh, my God. The conditioning you need to play water polo is next level. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a mix of cross training. You know, you're doing lifting, you're running, then you're getting in the pool and you're doing swimming, you're doing leg workouts, and then you're just getting to the point where you're scrimmaging and just beating the crud out of each other. It's the hardest thing that I've ever done in my life. Um, and to kind of get yourself up, to walk into what you know is gonna be the hardest training and that you know you're gonna be pushed to failure, it takes a lot. And it's the same 16 group of women training for a year straight, just really intensely, just beating each other up. And I would say we're the hardest team to go up against, so it was always nice when we were all wearing the same color cap and we could go out and beat up on other countries because you get sick of beating up on each other. I'll have to tell you about the time that I uh, trained in Coronado with the Navy SEALs. Uh, it was before the 2012 Olympics and uh, they had us out there running the O course and running with rubber boats on our head. And Did you guys know you were doing it? Or? No, we knew we were doing it and we thought like, oh cool, we're gonna do Navy SEAL training. We like all packed bag <laughs> lunches. We're like, this is gonna be a really cool team bonding experience. We show up there, we're watching a PowerPoint. The guy's taking us through kind of the mindset of a Navy SEAL and then he just screams, drop. I'm like, drop? What's like drop? He's like, drop, get on the ground. And immediately we're like repping out like a hundred push-ups. I'm like already shaking. He's squirting us in the face with a water bottle. And then we're running off to the next thing. And it was just, again, they're pushing us mentally. They're pushing us physically. You know, my arms were like swollen from like doing so much rope climbing. Um, I have so much respect for what our Navy SEALs do and our military and how they train because I got a real, you know, a real experience in it. Your struggles have led you to the pinnacle, but you've also turned around and now used it to help out other little girls. Right, yeah. So I work for a company called Rise Athletes where I'm definitely passing the torch to the next generation of female athletes. I want them to feel like any pool, you know, field, classroom, group setting that they walk into, that they've got it. What's it like for people out there to walk in your shoes? You better be really tough. For Cameron Craig and Jay Glazer, thanks for joining us and thanks to Altama. Make sure you guys tune in to more episodes of In Their Shoes.